Chief Quartan of Nchu has expressed his strong desire for a thorough and transparent investigation into the mysterious death of the former Vice President, Solosi Chilima. He believes that any credible investigation should start by examining the words Chilima spoke to Malawians before his untimely death. Chilima often said, keeping quiet was not a sign of being a fool, and, I am not afraid and I will not retreat. Chief Quartan interprets these statements as indications that Chilima was deeply troubled and not at peace. At a candlelight memorial organized by the United Transformation Movement, UTM, in Chuboma to honor the late Solosi Chilima, Chief Quartan spoke passionately about the circumstances surrounding Chilima's death. He noted that Nchu has a tragic history of losing prominent figures in mysterious and violent ways. One significant example he recalled was from May 18, 1983, when the district witnessed the burial of a prominent cabinet minister, Dick Matenj. Matenj was brutally murdered along with Eren Gadama, Twebu Sangala, and David Chiwanga, a member of parliament for Chikwawa, at Thambani in Mwanza district. Chief Quartan shared a personal memory from that time. He recounted how the then Chief Quartan received a message advising him not to attend Maten's burial. The reasons for this were known only to the Malawi Congress Party, MCP, government led by Dr. Hastings Kamuzubanda. Despite being young at the time, a Chief Quartan witnessed the heavy military presence at Maten's burial, a precaution taken to ensure security. He noted a similar level of security was present at Chilima's burial, highlighting the significance and tension surrounding both events. Reflecting on Chilima's life and his untimely death, Chief Quarton emphasized that Chilima, who was fondly called Impi Bayini, stood for peace and justice in Malawi. Chilima died while striving for these ideals, then Chief Quarton lamented that the government treated Chilima not as a vice president but as an ordinary citizen. He pointed to Chilima's statement, keeping quiet does not mean that he was a fool, as evidence of the hardships and lack of recognition Chilima faced from the government. Chief Quarten expressed his sorrow and frustration over the mysterious deaths of potential national leaders from Chu. He said, what is paining us is when we have someone from the district who has reached a stage where he can become the president of the country, he dies mysteriously. He urged Malawians to remember Chilima as a champion of peace and reassured them that the people of Nchu would uphold peace while keeping the memory of Chilima alive. The UTM members, particularly the youth, are actively holding memorial candlelight services across the country in honor of Solosi Chilima. They are united in their call for a transparent and credible investigation into his death. The demand for an honest inquiry into Chilima's death has gained momentum, with many Malawians advocating for the establishment of three separate investigative bodies. One would represent Chilima's family and the UTM, another would involve church organizations and civil society groups, and the third would be led by the MCP and the Tons Alliance government. This approach aims to ensure that the investigation is unbiased, thorough, and trusted by all parties involved. The call for a transparent investigation reflects the widespread desire for justice and accountability in Malawi. The mysterious deaths of prominent figures like Solosi Chilima and those before him, such as Dick Matenj and his colleagues, continue to haunt the nation. Chief Quartan's appeal for peace and remembrance serves as a poignant reminder of the ongoing struggle for justice and the importance of honoring the legacies of those who fought for a better Malawi. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more news updates. Also, hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. See you in the next one.